In this video, we're going to work on some UI elements and even a touch control. So right click UI text, rename this to GUI mineral label. The actual text will be minerals colon. Change the font size to 24. We'll set the color to white. And lastly, let's set the anchor point to the top right. So here's the anchor at the top right. All the positioning will be based off of that point. Select the canvas and then go to this drop down here and select scale with screen size. And let's just set a high resolution screen size, so 1280 by 800. And we'll base everything off of that and then as the, the phone sizes, screen sizes shrink, the UI should still be about where we want it. Expand the rec transform. Let's position the label at negative 100 in the X and negative 25 in the Y. That will give us a little room here to put the values on the right. Duplicate this label to make the gas one. Name it GUI gas label. Change the text to gas colon and the position to negative 56 in the X and negative 60 in the Y. That will line up these two labels just like we want. Make another duplicate. Name this one GUI Mineral Count Label. And change the width of this to 75. And the starting text will be 000. Negative 45 for the X and negative 25 for the Y. Make a duplicate of this one. Rename it GUI gas count label. Same starting text, just change the position here. Negative 45 for the X again and negative 60 for the Y. Let's hook these value labels up to the games value script that we made before. So on your player, scroll to the bottom, double click that script. It's going to open up in mono, just like every other script. Let's maximize the window. And let's start by adding public variables to store references to those two labels. So public, and then this, this object is not actually included by default, so reference it here, unityengine.ui.text. And we'll name it mineral count label. And then we'll do the same thing for the gas, being sure to use the full reference, unityengine.ui.text. Gas count label. Now that we have references to our labels, we want to set the value to match that variable that we had for the gas and the minerals. So let's do that by calling the label here, mineral count label dot text. We'll set this text equal to, and we're casting to an int, mineral count was the name of that variable, dot to string. So it was a float, cast it to an int, and now we can cast it to a string with that to string function. Do the same thing with gas count label dot text. And we're going to cast the gas count to an int and then dot to string it. And this will give us the string value that we can use in the text label. All right, save that. So file save all and minimize. So our script's been updated. It's got these two new fields here for the labels. Just got to drag them in. So drag the mineral count label here and then the GUI gas count label here. 
One more thing that I want to add, we actually need to switch over to the mobile platform. So file, build settings, and then click Android and switch platform. So this will just take a minute. We're going to use one of the prefabs that's in our assets and the cross-platform input asset that we copied in earlier in a previous video. So once that's done, go ahead and close this find your assets folder open that up cross platform input prefabs find the mobile single stick control copy this prefab in there and open it up you'll see there's actually two things inside of it we only want that second one the mobile joystick so drag that into your canvas make sure it goes inside there hit continue here and then we can go ahead and delete the rest of this we don't need this this prefab here click this one again we only need very limited movement here so set the movement range to 40 and then the axes to use only horizontal so we'll change the art to match at some later point go ahead and play and we'll test this you'll see that you can walk right by pulling it right and left and this will work on mobile now the other thing we did you'll see it's gathering minerals and you actually see the values go up for gas and for minerals there you go. So those are two things we did in this video. Now one last thing I want to do is I want to actually make a build for Android. File again, build settings. This time we're going to go to player settings. Make sure you're on the Android tab. And first thing you want to make sure you have a company name. We're going to put Wimp Studios LLC since that's us. And we'll stick with the rusted robot for the product name. Open up other settings for the bundle identifier you want com dot and then your company name Win studios LLC dot the name of the game rusted robot one other thing we want to set here is in the resolution and presentation make sure that's landscape right for the default orientation and we don't need any icons here at this point it'll have a default one and splash screen you can actually only set if you have the pro Android license we set this already and there's some other settings let's build just saved your desktop or something I'll name it rusted robot and this is gonna save the APK save just takes a minute you may need to do some other changes like set up your SDK I've done all that before but uh, there's always help forums and guides to help you out with that you can comment if you got any questions though So then it pops up here, and that's my APK. And this is just like any other APK that you can load up on Android. So send that to yourself and try it out.